Welcome back and thanks for staying with us on Sunrise this morning. We're going to look at the 20th Nigerian Economic Summit next. And uh, the summit group is Nigeria's leading think tank, think tank on economic policy and private sector development. And the summit will be holding from the 18th to the 20th of March in Abuja. The focus this year is transforming education through partnerships for global competitiveness. Our guests this morning are, starting with the lady, of course, <coughs> Mrs. Alero Aida Otobo, who is Chief Executive Officer, Incubator Africa, and she's also Chairman of the 20th uh, NES Central Organizing Committee. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. And sitting next to her is uh, the Chairman of Philips Consulting and Chairman of the NESG, Mr. Folusha Phillips. Good morning. Good morning. And on my left is the C is CEO, Verdant Zeal Marketing and Communications Limited, and he's also the chairman of the Communications Subcommittee. Good Thank morning. you for Thank you very morning. much for Thank coming. You. Now, the NESG, hmm. your focus this year, uh, Mrs. Otobo, is education. Why education? That's a good place to start. <laughs> <laughs> Why education? <laughs> Many will answer th this question by making one statement, that education is still in a state of crisis in many parts of Nigeria. We have significant numbers of children out of school. We have statistics saying between 8 and 10 million of our children are out of school. And that's the largest number in the entire world. So there's one thing that we are number one in and that's um, out-of-school children. We also have a serious situation with the quality of um, education in our, in our public schools, the learning outcomes. Several studies have been done by international development partners that confirm that a significant number of our children, when they leave, cannot read or write. And worse still, we have 